Hello, my beautiful friends. So I want to walk you through how to create flashcards and interactive quizzes on your own as something that you can study for whatever it is you want to learn. So right now I'm learning Scottish Gaelic. Irish speak Gaelic, Scottish speak Gaelic, and I'm learning it. So I'm using Duolingo. It's a great program. I love it. But I want to kind of have my own thing that I can use that doesn't have like sound and timers and all that. I just want to be able to use it on my phone or, you know, when I'm sitting around watching TV. I want to create my own thing. So I start off like the magic recipe of AI. Ask a good question. Vet the response figure out how you're going to share it. So I always start with prompt tester. I've asked my question. It has, um, you know, I, you know, I wanted to create an agent that provides at least five new words daily. Um, it should be separated by categories and then everything should be included in one site so that I can download it as an HTML file uh, to my local machine. So it's analyzing the prompt and I go down here and I can copy that. And now I take this over to Gemini and I paste it in here. And I'm just going to switch over to Reasoning Math and Code. And we're going to wait for it to cook for a minute. And like I've said before, this would have taken an entire summer to build. And um, I'm on a PC, but you can do this on a Mac or a PC. So we're going to wait here for a hot second while it does its thing, it does its magic. And I will, I'll be interested, I'll be able to compare it to Duolingo to see if the words are correct too, right? Because this is a language I don't know. I can ask for ham and cheese, Hama Agus Kasha, in case you need to know how to ask for ham and cheese. So uh, it's still thinking, so uh, Scottish Gaelic vocab app is what it's calling itself and uh, it's still thinking so while it's thinking we'll just hang ha hang out here and watch it spin uh, but this is really great if you're learning um, a new language or if you're learning how to crochet I like using flashcards they are very very helpful when I was in college and graduate school I used to use handwritten flashcards all the time so uh, that always helped to reinforce concepts and so and of course I can use Duolingo you know, I can use their very sophisticated app, but if I want to build something just tiny for myself that I can use, this is a really great way to do it. And you can see it doesn't really take that long. Um, really, we just have to wait for it to think. But here we go. It's created something. Um, uh, I happen to know that these are actually true. So here we go. Um, weather, air, ushka is weather okay flip uh it is raining ha on ushka on that's how you would say that so that's really awesome so okay ushka All right next grian what does it mean ha agrian adershada the sun is shining so this is very very helpful now what how do i share this right so i'd have to compare this with duolingo and with my other Gaelic sites and sources to make sure that these are correct right but if i let's assume it is i copy the code right i'm just going to go control a control c i'm going to take this code and then put it over here into notepad and you can do this on notes as well you want to make sure that you save it as um, an HTML file. So this is going to be called Gallic.html. Oh, I should spell it right. A E L I C HTML. And I could host this off a website if I wanted to. And I'm just going to click all files there. I'm going to put it on my desktop because that's where I toss everything. And there we have it. So now let's go on to the desktop and see if it actually worked. So where are you, Gallic? All right, so if I double click on it and it opens here, that means that the local file works. Now, for it to be on a website, I would have to add it to to my um, to my website, but this works for me. So, uh, how long did this take? Not long at all. It took longer for it to think about how to build the code than anything else. Uh, but we asked a question. It was a good question. It's giving us what we want. It'll give us five new words each day. Um, Actually, from looking at it, it's giving us four new words each day, so it didn't quite follow the instructions. Um, 
Oh, I see. No, these are categories. I should read closer, shouldn't I? These are categories. So, um, Aaron is bread. Yep. Uh, Isha Toila Lama Aaron Bla is I like warm bread. Kasha is, I know this one, this is cheese. Uh, ha and Kasha Sao Ma is this cheese is good. Yeah, so it's giving you five words in the categories that I picked. Ha, huh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So this is a really, really great tool that you can build something for yourself, whatever it is you're learning. I love, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think this is so transformational for our students. It can help them with whatever it is that they're working on. It can help us with whatever we're teaching. So super cool tool. And we did this in under six minutes. I am wishing you all the very best in light and love. Be well. Take care. Bye-bye.